All right, welcome once again. Um, if you have not yet found yourself in a comfortable seated position, um, do so. Find yourself in a comfortable seated or laying down position, whatever is comfortable. Um, and if you'd like to find a sweater or a scarf or something like that as a, um, a talib or an actual talib, feel free to do that as well. Um, and we're going to start out with some breathing, just some breathing to check in with our bodies, check in with how we're feeling right now, and to try to drop everything down to open our minds and open our hearts. Just take a deep breath in through your nose. A slow, controlled breath out through your mouth. Making sure to fully clear your lungs, the bottom of the out breath, even squeezing in, make sure all the air is out. Another breath in through your nose, slow and controlled. You take the next breath in through your nose. I want you to allow it to connect you to the wider source of the breath. Feeling yourself drawing upon the air around you. Recognizing there's no real break in the air between any of us, no matter how far distant we are from each other same pool of air that we all live and exist in, we all draw from. The first act of creation enlivens humanity is that of breath. God placing a breath within man made of mud, showing that we are joined between the divine and the mundane, the earthly and the heavenly through breath. In each breath we take consciously, we think about Fill our lungs fully and fully breathe out. Reconnects us to that ultimate source. Source of all life, of all existence. Whatever your conception of it may be. Baruch Hu, Baruch Ho Severishi, Baruch Ho Merveo Se'e, Baruch Gozer Mekayam, Baruch Merachem Al Ha'aretz, Baruch Merachem Al Ha'briyoh, Baruch Mishalem Sachar Tov Lirea, Baruch Ha'ala, Vekayam Lanetzach, Baruch Bodeh Umatzim, Baruch Shemo. Yishbechol v'zim rot negadelcha, Yishbechecha unifarecha unazkir shimcha, Emlichecha malkeinu Eloheinu, Yachid Che Haolamin, Melech Meshubach Mefarad Ed Shemo Hagado, Baruch Atadonai, Melech Mehulal Batish Baho. Blessed are you, Adonai, sovereign who is glorified through our praise. 
Happy are those who dwell in God's house. They forever praise God. Happy the people who have it so. Happy the people whose God is Adonai. We settle into our meditation today, listening to the ancient words of our prayer book. We begin with Pesuke de Zimra, the verses of song. The traditional way of moving in to prayer, using the Psalms, the Hebrew Bible, were sung by the Levites in the temple in Jerusalem. And have been sung by our ancestors ever since. Psalm 145 is one that's particularly sung every day. And today, we're using this as our guide to connect with the divine, ourselves, with each other. When you hear the word praise, regard to God, how does it make you feel? And start by thinking about the word praise itself. When you receive praise, what does praise do inside your mind and inside your body? Return to your breath momentarily, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Think about the last time you received praise that stuck with you. It could be for anything. What was your reaction internally? Take your back to that moment of praise. Think about how you felt when you received it. Was it surprising? Did it make you feel embarrassed or proud? Did it make you feel like you belonged where you were doing what you were doing? How did it affect your sense of worth, self-worth? Now think about a time you praised someone else. How did it feel to offer them that praise? What did you expect in return? What reaction or response? What reaction or response did you receive? Now we return the idea of praising God. It requires no actual literal beliefs, but merely the idea that there is some force behind all things, that our praising it has some effect. Perhaps for it, perhaps for us. When you consider praising another person, what did you praise? 
sort of physical attribute, uh, a piece of work they had done, a kind action they had taken. What does it mean to praise the source of all life? life? How can you fathom that source in such a way that you can praise it? What words come to mind when you think of praising the divine source of God? And deep breath in through your nose. Slow breath out through your mouth. Now let's look at praise from another angle. Think of a time when you heard from someone else that you had been praised, but to someone else. How did that feel with respect to firsthand praise? Do you think the difference is for the person who praises to not praise their target directly, but to praise them to someone else? With this step backwards, single departure from first-hand praise to second-hand, I invite you to imagine the same for God or the source of all life. We can direct our praise to this source where it is everywhere, but what is it to tell others of your positive feelings towards the spiritual source. How does that feel to you and to them? I invite you to think of the last time you may have said, thank God, or something akin to it as a reaction to an event outside of your control. It's an expression of relief in the sense that things worked out even though they may not have. What was it that led you to say that? How would it feel if you stopped and actually thought about what it meant to say, thank God? What 
in this instance are you attributing to the divine source? Deep breath in through your nose. Slow, full breath out through your mouth. When was a time perhaps recently, perhaps long ago, when you prayed for something. It could have been just like saying, thank God, a simple knee-jerk reaction, a sense of expressing longing for an outcome you desired. Again, what did it feel like to express that desire? even just internally. Whether or not your desire was granted to you, what would it feel like if it was? Deep breath in through your nose. Slow breath out through your mouth. When was a time you felt you had been protected from some negative outcome? Perhaps one you didn't even realize was possible until afterwards. Perhaps in the moment even you felt a sense of protection, a sense that you're gonna be just fine, even though you may have been in a stressful or even dangerous situation. What made you feel that safety, that security? Do we seek that safety and security out? Or is it only something granted? Full breath out through your mouth. As you consider these experiences, feeling protected, feeling you had been given a divine gift, feeling providence, perhaps even liberation from a source beyond yourself. What words can you put to the collected feelings behind each of these experiences? How 
you voice praise on whatever led to these experiences. Oh, breath into your nose. Imagine for a moment, you know, this is only an exercise. There is, in fact, a human-like intelligence leading to these experiences for you. One that you can turn to and think in the same way you think someone who helped you on the street or in your life. What would it be like Turn to that entity and thank them and praise them. Whether or not this resonates is true with you. Deep breath in through your nose, slow breath out through your mouth. Yishtabach shimcha ve'ad malkenu, ha'el hanolcha kadoh ha'kadosh b'ashamayim v'aretz. Ki <laughs> Rachot v'horaot meta ve'adolam Baruch atah Adonai El melech adol v'tishbachot El ha'hodaot adon ha'niflaot Habocher v'shirei zimrah Melech el chei ha'olamim Praised are you, sovereign of wonders, crowned in adoration, delighting in song, eternal majesty. Deep breath in through your nose once again. Slow breath out through your mouth. Feeling the relaxation of your lungs and chest as you exhale. Feeling the energy entering as you inhale. Let you now take a moment of silence to connect in once again with yourself and perhaps with that force beyond all things. And just share whatever you are feeling now with the one well beyond all. Ose shalom im roma uya se shalom aleinu ve'al koho yisrael ve'al ko yoshve tevel the one who makes peace on high 
make peace for all of us, all the children of Israel, and all of the inhabitants of the earth. We say it together. Amen.